Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see, product form of, low carbon steel. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. Great, now just talk about, the different ASME grade which we use. Okay, we are very much focused on the static equipment design engineers. So if process or your client has mentioned low carbon still only for the use, then what material grade we should select? Okay, that is the next question. SA 537, that's a very high strength carbon state material. We'll not start with that. We'll start with SA 516. That will be our default choice. Okay. Now we'll talk about 516 and 515 also. Someone asked that question, that coarse and fine grain. Now, which one is coarse and which one is fine? Anybody can tell me? 516 is coarse or it's fine grain structure. What is that? Uday is saying S. 516 is fine. 515. Both Himanshu and Uday, Imdad and Shiva are right. So, 516 is a fine grain structure. 515 is coarse grain. Please remember my next statement which I am going to make. Coarse grain is good for high temperature. Coarse grain is good for high temperature and that is the reason 515 will be our preferred choice for high temperature like 360, 370, 380. Okay, because that is the creep zone for 516 and in creep zone your coarse grain structure performs better. Okay, hope that ideas you are able to digest. The second is fine grain structure is good for low temperature. Fine grain structure is good for low temperature. And that is the reason 516 performs better when we need impact. Okay. So in creep, 515 will perform better. In impact, 516 will perform better. Okay. If we have, if we want boilers quality plate, 204 is the material. If we want high strength carbon steel for high pressure, we want to reduce the thickness, 537 is the material. Okay. If we want for tank or other structural purpose, 283 and SA36 is the material. Okay. Got it? So Pressure parts I'll make from 516, 204 or 537, 515 also if temperature is high. Structural parts will make from 283 and 37, which is a low pressure or structural part. That is about plate. I hope it is clear. You can remember the grades. Now next, we already discussed 516 is fine grain material and that is the reason it's good for impact okay so and this is the most widely used material SA 516 okay and the grade 70 almost most of the cases you are going to use this material so always remember to uh, note down its properties okay if you remember at least one material you will have something to compare with okay if you are reading any new material you already have these values you can compare okay only problem is that creep which happens at higher temperature okay. 515 is a coarse grain now how we define coarse and fine like if a particular area you see here how many grains are there that we count okay so if you see about fine there will be lot many grains in that same area. If it is coarse, smaller grains will be there. 
So coarse grain are good at high temperature. That is the reason makes 515 superior in creep temperature. Okay. Now let us talk about pipe. Because plate you have assigned with low carbon steel, which was given as input. Uh, you have different grades and you know how to select them. Now the nozzles are there. Okay. Uh, if your vessel is vertical and supported on legs and the leg you have designed with pipe, again pipe will come, right? So for nozzles, we always prefer SA106 grade B. This is the material which we use for nozzles. If we need better impact properties, if I'm using it for low temperatures, I need good impact properties, then I go for SA333. Okay, that is also a pipe material good for low temperature. Another grade, SA53 is for structural, like if I have to make a leg, I'll not use SA106. Okay, I, I can use 53 to save some cost because 53 is a structural which will be which I can get at lesser cost. Okay. SA53 or 53, I cannot use for nozzle, right? For pressure part, we don't use SA53. We use SA106 grade B. So for nozzles, we'll assign material as SA106 grade B. Okay. I hope this part is clear. Now forgings. Forgings also, and it we as a mechanical engineers, we have to specify. So if it's standard forging, we get from SA105, like B16.5, whatever standard flanges are given, mostly you'll get an SA105. Then SA181 is the next carbon steel grade. That also you can use. 350 LF2. If I need better impact properties, I'll go for 350 LF2. These materials are costlier. Okay, so don't use unless it is required okay otherwise you will be asked questions that why not 105 why you have used 350 lf2 it will make difference in cost okay 266 when we have very bigger forgings okay then we have to go with 266 like girth flanges tube sheets 105 also we can use but for pressure vessel materials you should go for 266. Okay. Fittings like elbow, you know, 234 grade WPB. What W stands for? It's weldable. Okay, these fittings are weldable. These grades are weldable. P is pressure. So WP, weldable and pressure taking. B is grade. That can be B, C, like we have 106 grade A, B, C. 234 is also W, P, A, B, C. Okay. So B denotes the grade. Okay. So I said 234 is the material which will be used for fittings. Okay. 420 is also one of the fitting material good for low temperature. Bolting. We have what SA193 grade B7. We have 194 2H. So for bolt, 193 B7. For nut, 194 2H. Okay. SA307 normally we use for foundation bolts. Okay, this is a grade for foundation bolt. Even 193 grade B7 you can use, that will be a little costlier. Okay. That is for Bolting material for tubes, what we'll use? SA 179. Okay. For seamless low carbon steel tubes. If you have boiler tubes, if you require boiler tubes, then you have to use SA 192. If you need tubes for very high temperature for superheater tubes, then it's 210. Okay. Boiler and superheater tubes are made from. SA210. Okay. I hope you understood this part. Stay tuned for more videos related to materials requirements.